What up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. I am so excited to unbox this today. This box holds a copy of Sailor Moon Stars Part 1, the Blu-ray and DVD combo pack, which means we will finally get to listen to an English dub of Sailor Moon Stars. Who has been waiting for this for your entire life, practically, almost? I have. Have you? I mean, I feel like this has taken us forever to finally get a copy of Sailor Moon Stars, and finally, Viz Media has given it to us. And I gotta say, I am a big fan of all of the English voice actors. There's a few that I miss from the original Deke dub back in the day, back in the 90s, but having Sailor Moon Stars in English now is just incredible. It's this thing that I felt like we would never get, and now that we have it, it's just like, oh, so exciting. So I am super excited. I know everybody else in the Sailor Moon fandom universe, all of us Moonies, are so stoked about checking out Sailor Moon Stars. Uh, the copy that I got is from Right Stuff Anime. However, you can also find this over on Amazon. I'll put a bunch of links down below in case you're interested. I know that Amazon tends to be cheaper, but they don't package things as well. And usually if you get it from Right Stuff Anime, that also comes with a bonus. So I ordered mine from Right Stuff Anime and they packaged it extremely well in this nice thick box and it did come with a bonus so when you order Sailor Moon stars from right stuff anime it also comes with this really cool little challenge coin uh, if you are somebody who goes to conventions or if you work in the military you are probably very familiar with challenge coins I like these I collect them all uh, I started late so I'm missing the first few but I think this is the second one that I have now so on the front of here it says moon eat Eternal makeup and on the back it says Sailor Moon Viz Media. So this is a Viz Media special coin just from Right Stuff Anime. The Blu-ray and DVD combo pack does come with this paper packaging that you can just slide right off. I tend to keep these except I just fold them up and put them away since I want to keep them in storage so that they don't get damaged. On the back of this, it says the eternal guardian of love and justice is back for the groundbreaking fifth and final season, Sailor Moon Sailor Stars. Continue your collection with 17 uncut episodes presented for the first time ever in the U.S. on Blu-ray and loaded with never-before-seen extras. The set also includes a 96-page full-color booklet. More on that in a bit and all the drama surrounding that booklet. All housed in a shimmery chipboard box with room for part two. And at the bottom we also have a little synopsis. It says Sailor Moon and the Sailor Guardians are about to face the greatest challenge yet. High school! Yeah, high school kind of was a big challenge, wasn't it, for all of us, all of us nerds. But as the girls take their next big step in life and Chibiusa prepares to return to the future, a mysterious force frees the evil queen Nehalenia. While the struggle to contain her old enemy will be difficult, it may be Mamoru's year of studying abroad that hurts Usagi the most. But there's even more to take Usagi's mind off of long-distance love with the arrival of the villainous sailor anima mates and the heroic Sailor Starlights. Who would be behind this new wave of evil? And why are the Starlights resistant to working with Sailor Moon? Usagi has her hands full, but she'll always make time to write a love letter to her beloved Mamo-chan. So we also have this nice art on the back with all of the girls in their high school uniforms, and we also have a couple of clips from what you get on the DVD and Blu-ray. So this is a six disc group of Blu-rays and DVDs. There's 17 episodes total. You get 167 through 183. It is all in 1080p HD, which is also awesome, and it's 4 by 3 aspect ratio in English as well as Japanese, and you get English subtitles. On the front of the chipboard box, we have some holographic filigree on each of the four corners, and in the middle it says Sailor Moon Sailor Stars, with a very pretty depiction of Eternal Sailor Moon. On the side, we have Sailor Moon's Eternal Brooch, as well as Sailor Moon Sailor Stars, and at the bottom it says Season 5. 
five. The back has her eternal brooch and it also has the same filigree and that holographic texture which is very very pretty. The bottom and top are pretty much the same thing and if you have the rest of these collections, each of the box sets, you will notice that this one is in this really pretty blue so you have this nice full rainbow of colors once you complete this one in your box sets. So when you open up the chipboard box, the first thing you get is an empty cardboard box and this is where part two is going to go once we get part two, which should be shipping later this month. Then we get a booklet which depicts each of the episodes as well as I think there's like lyrics in here and there's some really nice art as well as some advertisements at the end. So I'll flip through this as well so you can see that. And we also get the DVDs and Blu-rays in this nice plastic packaging. Same art on the front but we do get some different art on the back. We get a few more screenshots from the show as well as some Sailor Starlights. So cool. Same synopsis, so I'm not gonna cover that again. When you open your Blu-ray and DVD plastic packaging, you do get this really pretty art on the inside of the paper slip. I believe this is by Marco Albiro. He does most of the advertisement art nowadays. Uh, so this features Sailor Galaxy in the middle, as well as the anima mates. So you have all four of them there, very pretty. And on the back, of course, you have what I already covered. I'm gonna slide this back in because I don't wanna damage it. So the first disc we get, which mine has a little bit of a black mark on it, so that's kind of annoying, but this is a uh, Blu-ray disc number one that has this white outlined Eternal Sailor Moon with a pink background. Then we have disc two, and that one has a light blue uh, outline of the Sailor Starlights as well as a dark blue background. Then we have the third Blu-ray disc, and that one features Sailor Galaxia on an orange background. Uh, we have similar art styles on the three DVD discs. Eternal Sailor Moon is on the first one. Then we have the Sailor Starlights and Sailor Galaxia on the last one. Now, I wanted to cover what you get on each of the DVDs. Uh, all of the content that you will see here is straight from Viz Media. It is courtesy of Viz Media. Please don't take down this video. If you see it, Viz Media, I am just giving my own commentary on the DVDs, I am not going to show any of the episodes. So on disc number one, the featured character is Eternal Sailor Moon. You will notice in the settings that you get Japanese and English, and the episodes are 167 through 172. Each of these is full screen, aspect ratio. Looks very, very nice, nice clear images, but of course this is DVD quality. Uh, menu two features the three Sailor Starlights on disc two, and that one has episodes 173 through 178. And disc three features Sailor Galaxia with 179 through 183. So almost the entire series is done here. Uh, as far as extras on the DVDs, the only thing you get are some Viz Media trailers, and that is it. The Blu-rays is definitely where it's at. So first you have disc number one. Uh, when I plug this one in, I notice that it's a very pink menu. It features Usagi as well as Chibi Moon. There's a whole bunch of really pretty images from the show, and it circles through all of them, and it has this nice background music, really easy to listen to. Uh, this disc features episodes 167 through 172 again, and there's also a gallery that you can flip through, and this one is really cool. It features each of the inner Sailor Senshi, so you have Usagi, you have Amy, Rei, Makoto, and Minako in their Sailor Fukus, their school uniforms, and their plain outfits. And it's basically art giving you an idea of the costume, so very, very useful if you're a cosplayer, for example. The setup only has a couple of options. Either you can turn on or off Japanese and English settings for the music as well as for throughout the episodes. Disc 2 features the Sailor Starlights. And this one includes a gallery of the Sailor Starlights as well in their normal uniforms, as well as what they look like as Sailor Starlights. Uh, the episode options on here are episodes 173 through 178, so same as what you got with the DVDs. And this one also has the same setup settings for Japanese and English. Now we move on to the most exciting disc of the set, which is disc number three and this menu features Sailor Galaxia. So this one does have a whole bunch of scenes from the enemies in the menu, and it goes around with all of them again. 
Uh, this one, as far as extras go, you do get some interviews. So the first one has an interview with Laura Post, who plays Queen Nehalania. So very, very interesting interview with her. Next up, you have an interview with Stephanie Shea, who talks about her character Usagi or Sailor Moon. And she talks a lot about the relationship uh, that Usagi goes through in Sailor Stars, and she also talks about her own uh, opinions that go into the show. So it was really interesting. She also does an interview that talks about playing Chibi Chibi, because if you didn't know, Stephanie Shea also does the voice of Sailor Chibi Chibi Moon, aka Chibi Chibi, in Sailor Stars. So she's playing two different roles basically in Sailor Stars, which I thought was really interesting. So it was really cool to listen to her talk about playing that portrayal for, for that role. So that's it for the interviews. Then we go on to the art gallery. And this one is a nice short and sweet gallery that features Galaxia. And that's it. If you want to check it out, there is a clean opening and a clean ending without all of the credits. That's very, very pretty. So you can just check out the art style. There's also some Viz Media adverts, some advertisements and trailers in there, as well as episodes 179 through 183. Now again, we are almost done with the entire series and finally getting the entirety of Sailor Moon in English. That last disc combo set will be releasing later this month, which is going to be a great birthday present for me because my birthday is also later this month. So I'm super stoked about finally, finally getting Sailor Moon in English every single episode, all 200 episodes, which is going to be incredible. Thank you so much, Viz Media. I'm so excited. I'm going to be emotional when that comes out. I know I will be because I've been waiting for this for like 25 years? 27 years? Something like that. It's been a long time. Okay, so now we have some drama. There's a reason why I have two different booklets here. This is the limited edition booklet that you got just with the Blu-ray and DVD combo set. If you flip through it, it basically gives you a synopsis of the show, what has happened so far in the show, and then each of the episodes. And it gives you just a short two-sentence a synopsis about each episode that is included in this set. So this goes on all the way to episode 200, so you can read about each of the episodes included, and then we have some additional information. So first there's a family tree, a tree chart, or a friend tree, whatever you want to call it. Then we have some art of all of the senshi, we have credits for all of the English voice actors, as well as the Japanese voice actors. There's also special thanks and some more beautiful art. Then we have the song lyrics for the Sailor Star song in both hiragana slash katakana, as well as uh, the Romanji translation, and we have the English translation as well underneath that. There's also Kaze mo Sora Monkito, I don't know how to say that. Moonlight Legend, which we're all familiar with. And then we also have uh, each of the sailors' biographies. So first we have Usagi Skino in here. Then we have Chibiusa, Amy, Rei, Makoto, Minako, Haruka, Michiru, Setsuna, Hotaru, Mamoru. Interestingly enough, we don't get biographies about the Sailor Starlights, but we do get some excellent art of each of the Sailor Starlights. So we have Sailor Star Fighter, Maker, and Healer. And we also have Princess Kakyu. There's Sailor Chibi Chibi Moon. And then we got the Sailor Anima Mates. So Iron Mouse is in here, Tinyanko, Aluminum Siren, and Lead Crow, as well as Galaxia. And it does include some beautiful art from episode 200, which is kind of cool. Lastly, we have a couple pieces of art at the back, as well as some advertisements for the manga, Sailor Moon S and Super S movies, and Sailor Moon Crystal. Okay, so why the drama? Why did Viz Media send out a additional booklet to people that ordered the first copy? Well, first there were some incorrect translations of the lyrics in here, and also there was an incorrect translation of uh, the friendship slash romantic relationships that should have been included on the family tree. So first off, we have Sailor Neptune and Sailor Uranus. And between them is a lovely little line that says, Friendship, even though they are in a romantically involved relationship. So it should say love or it should say romance or something there that is not just friendship. Also, between Luna and Artemis, it just says 
friendship, even though they're obviously in love. They have Diana, after all. Spoiler alert, in case you didn't know that. Now to give you an example of what it should say, between Usagi and Mamoru, we have the word love. So that's exactly what we should see for Neptune and Uranus and Luna and Artemis as well. So people got upset about this, and rightfully so. So Viz Media ended up sending out a second copy of the booklet, which you can see here. So they also sent out a letter, and the letter says, Dear customer, Viz Media and Warner Brothers Home Entertainment wish to thank you for purchasing Sailor Moon Sailor Star Season 5 Part 1 Limited Edition. We extend our apology for the unintentional error affecting the booklet included. Please accept the enclosed replacement. Thank you again for your continued patience. We appreciate your ongoing support for Sailor Moon. Enjoy the show! We have our new booklet here. So now I flip over to the family slash relationship tree that we have in the book and in between Sailor Neptune and Uranus it now says partners as opposed to friendship. Now in between Usagi and Mamoru it still says love. In between Artemis and Luna it still says friendship. Now albeit this is something very minimal for people to get mad about but at the same time especially for me, for example, uh, this anime was the first time I had ever seen something that was not a heteronormative relationship, especially in what was a children's show. Dick Media did their absolute best to make Neptune and Uranus seem like cousins. So Neptune and Uranus have never gotten to express like their actual romantic relationship in America when it comes to the anime. Viz Media should be very aware of that and be able to fix it right at the bat. I mean, this is something that was really important to a lot of people and it helped a lot of people understand their own sexuality. So I can understand and I can relate to people who want this to be correct. I am very happy that they fixed it, but I still wish that Artemis and Luna, even though they're just cats, they're talking cats. They are very, very important to the plot. I wish that they had love or partners in between their name as well. But I'm not going to ask for another book just to fix that too, even though they're very important to the entire role of the show. If it wasn't for Luna, then we would not have Sailor Moon let's be honest. So as far as getting the Blu-ray and DVD combo set, would I recommend it? Absolutely I would. I think this is something that should go in everyone's collection. This is the absolute first time we have had that English dub of Sailor Moon Sailor Stars, and it's extremely special to each and every collector that I know. It's extremely special to me as well. You can find all of the Sailor Moon combo packs for really, really inexpensive prices nowadays, and they do go on sale quite frequently. So I will put those links below. And of course, if you have any questions about those, make sure to leave those in the comments too, because I do check all of the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. And thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I love our community. Make sure to find me on Instagram too. I'm at Sailor Snubs. If you're interested in buying some of my old older Sailor Moon items that I no longer want or need, or if you just want to support me there and be a part of this awesome Sailor Moon online community that we have. Again, I'm Sailor Snubs. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Janae!